Okay. Norman is uh, the only person who's doing two PKs. Because both of you offered us talks. Excellent, okay. So um, I'm going to go for the oh, F5 okay. option. So this is Norman Gray, Norman Gray from the University of Glasgow. And if you're ready, good to go. Yeah. Okay. So, where should we go? Hello. I'm Norman Gray. Uh, the Marty Bros project was funded by JISC uh, to look at data management planning and preservation planning for big science. Uh, the SDFC folk, SDFC is the uh, funder which funds most big science in the UK. Uh, the like I spoke are HEP and I am astronomy. Uh, the history of this is that there was another project funded by uh, the, the same program uh, which looked at gravitational wave and what well, at big science data management. And these are the outcomes that came from that, and these led on to the, um, the, the, to, to, to the Marty Gross uh, project. Uh, so what is big science in this, in this definition? Various things. Uh, in this context, the big awful list is important. Uh, you're having uh, hundreds to thousands of people on the, on the awful list meeting to <coughs> have a lot of uh, apparatus about uh, creating consensus, and what things that are decided end up being done is an important thing. There are also a variety of data management styles, uh, but that does have a certain amount of cohesiveness as well. The fact that there's a lot of data, the important thing about that is that these disciplines have, are used to dealing with lots and lots of data, uh, and so they are uh, in, comfortable with innovative data management and with funding uh, that and, 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 and managing it. It is said, oh, the font's gone all, all wrong, uh, that people should preserve data and share it and all that stuff. And, and that's sort of true. But it's hard because uh, raw data is useless and the preparing data for a release and dissemination sharing is potentially very expensive. You can make it cheaper, but it's still not a, uh, a given. The way that uh, astronomy works is that data tends to flow very naturally from the it's an observational science, so it flows from the detector into the archive as much as possible and mediated. And it tends to be fairly naturally shareable. So that's quite nice. High energy physics, on the other hand, is about uh, experimental science. It's about building big, big kit. That's someone in the middle there, uh, which produces highly customized data formats, which are analyzed with highly customized, well, with bespoke uh, 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 analysis pipelines, and that creates you know significant problems for preserving and sharing uh, the, the, the data. So the Marty Gross project uh, exists to provide. Uh, we said uh, an intellectual toolkit for uh, which will support people to who have been obliged to create a data management uh, plan for a project like this. It looks at a neutron source, uh, gravitational wave physics, and uh, particle physics. The claim is that uh, the, the, the principle to data management is a good thing, and that OAIS is a good thing also. Uh, and that there's a bunch of resources which we plan to create, which will help someone produce that. So what should happen is funders should say, here's a copy of OES deck, get on with it. Have another 10 seconds for the next slide. That's it. So what's OES? Uh, you make me know. Uh, the point is, is all of the data going from uh, into an archive, sitting there, and coming out afterwards. And the point is, this is a standard. It's a set of of, of concepts, uh, a vocabulary, which which facilitates a conversation between funders and projects, and you know, all, all sorts of budgets. A problem, however, is that if you put all your data on a USB stick and promise not to lose it. That can probably be dressed up in OAIS clothes, but that does not mean it's a good, a good data management preservation strategy. So that leads on fairly naturally to the question of how do you turn uh, this OAIS wonderfulness into a reasonable strategy. CASPAR is a project which was funded by the uh, uh, EC uh, a couple of years ago. It's about creating a set of uh, structures and uh, tools to uh, help turn, uh, help concretize an, uh, an OAIS uh, motivation into a real plan. 
that leads fairly naturally into the question of repository uh, uh, audit and uh, certification. And you don't have to do you, you <coughs> a standard there, you can do this very uh, elaborately, but it doesn't have to be a full-blown a full audit. You, the, the, the certification process can ask questions that you can ask yourself about, about how, how good your thing is. OAIS is not, I should say, the only model. Uh, the DCC has an, uh, an alternative model, which is more cyclical than linear. And the thing I want to mention of this is that some, I showed this to someone and they said, ah yes, it was a repositories person that made that up, isn't it? The repositories at the centre of the universe. <coughs> the point is, it's not a uh, the, pro the point of, o of the Mardi Gras project is to produce concrete uh, um, uh, advice on what, on what to do. That includes things, asking questions like, what is the designated community? How much is it likely to cost? And so on. Which leads on to the idea of planning. Uh, planning is a good thing. Uh, planning your, 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 the release of your data is uh, strict, it, it, is, it, it is various. Uh, <coughs> the gravitational wave community has an algorithm for what data will be released under what circumstances. Uh, the uh, head people have a, 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 a variety of ways of doing this. Cost is important. Uh, cost of storage is scarily expensive. Uh, it means for thousands of dollars per, 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 per terabyte. And David Rosenthal has talked about how this uh, can be more expensive than you think. And the fact that this uh, disk storage is getting cheaper does not get you out of this. Secondly, ingest is potentially expensive and potentially very messy. <laughs> However, it uh, is uh, it may be not, not, not too bad because quite a lot of, the, of, of, of these big science areas tend to, as I said, to produce data from the instrument directly into the archive. So the ingest is therefore, to some extent, a fact of the way, and maybe someone else's budget. So, finishing off, uh, the first one there is the page for the, the recursion project to this, and the idea for that is that it produces uh, a description of how big science data works. The second is the Mardi Growth Project itself. We are producing a version one. Uh, at the end of this month, you will find snapshots there, and comments would be delightful. Excellent, thank you very much for that, Lord. Uh, does anyone have any questions we'd like to ask, Lord? I don't know what we're all enough. Hello, we're all good? Excellent, okay, right, we're, uh, we're